you guys for joining me again today if you are new here my name is elizabeth and if you are not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the beautiful news and the spread of good news Hey, I'm talking about love passed down. What does that mean actually? Love from a father to his child. Love from a mother to a child. Love is important in our everyday life. But unfortunately, it is missing. Now, what exactly are you passing down to your children? What are you passing across to your children? What do you tell them indirectly? with your actions. Like I always say, love not in words, but in action. Yes, you may say you love your kids, but do you only love them in your actions? Do you only love them because you think you're buying good gifts for them? You lavish them with so much money. But in case you don't know, these kids look up to you and every step you take, every move you make, they are watching. They are watching and they are learning from you. So in case you are doing something and you are not proud of, don't think your kids are too small. They are learning from you. They are picking from you so fast. I was surprised one day to see that my little two-year-old was doing everything I usually do every night. Like my night routine, he was doing it. He brought my glasses for me. He brought my Bible and was like, Mommy. And I was surprised that this little boy watched every step of my action. Everything I do every night, he watched it. And that is to tell you that you have to be conscious of what you do in front of your kids. You don't want your kids to tell lies. But you, Daddy and Mommy, you are always lying. You tell lies. You don't want somebody to meet you at home and you tell your kids, tell him I'm not at home. Whereas you're at home. What are you passing across to your children? Pass love. It's good to keep inheritance for your kids. It's good to make so much money and keep it for your children. But that is not the basis. That is not the most important thing. The Bible says, train up your children in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. When you give your children the legacy of standing firm with God, of having a genuine relationship with God, that will last them for eternity. Even when you are not there, that legacy of a relationship with God would always support and hold them when they face the trials and tribulations of this world. You will not always be with your children. But what have you trained them to do? What have you left in their hands? What are you teaching them and what are they seeing you do? Do they see you study your Bible? Do they see you pray? Do they see you love people genuinely? If you think these children are not watching, you have to think again. They are watching you. And you need to pass something to your children. Because you never know the future. You don't even know the future. You don't know what holds and what lies tomorrow. But what you have instilled in the hearts of these children will be with them forever. And it's good to give them quality education. It's good to leave inheritance for them. So much money. It's good. But the best legacy you can leave with your children that will not depart from them, that will help them for their future, that will help them to stand firm even among their peers and their mates is Christ, Jesus Christ. That is the best gift you can give your children. Have you welcomed him into your hearts today? And have you introduced him to your children? Don't think they are too small to know him. Don't think they are too small to have a relationship with him. Jesus loves little children. He's calling them to himself. Bring all these children to him. Let him help them on their journey of life. Let him hold them. Let him support them. Let him lead them to make right decisions. Don't just let these children live their life like they don't have direction. Jesus is the radar of their life. Let him direct their life and their path in the right way. Parents, sacrifice your time. 
your love for your children. Give up those bad habits that you have that is debying your children from serving God. Those habits that are stopping your children from loving God. Habits that make your children confused. If truly mommy and daddy really love God, let these children understand that Jesus loves them unconditionally. Don't confuse your children. Bring them up in the way of the Lord so that they will give you rest even at your old age. Pass love, don't pass it. God bless you. Bye-bye.